Hi and welcome to Cars and Coffee Stories. We are in San Clemente, California. Next to me is Cam. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Tell us about your car. So it's a uh, 1990 Nissan Skyline BNR32. Uh, so famously called Godzilla from Japan. It came from uh, the area of Atsugi, Japan, through Florida into uh, Chicago and then back here to California. So it's been a process owning it, but it's, uh, I love it. It's a great car. Uh, since when do you own it? I have had it for about six months now. The final processing and everything else through customs takes quite some time. Where do you find it? Uh, actually, it was through a buddy of mine from Atsugi uh, when he stationed over there. So he's the one that did uh, kind of the processing for me. Did you change anything or is it pretty much original? No, it's not original. So when it came through uh, Florida, I asked the, the company that did the importing for me to paint it a different color. So we tried to stick to the CalSonic blue, which is their the race model for the R32. And I, I just, I absolutely love the color of it. I'm a huge fan of blue, so it was nice. Uh, I've had a lot of attention with a car like this. You get a lot of attention. So it's been fun coming out here with Simon and the guys from Cars and Coffee here in uh, South Orange County, Cars and Coffee. Uh, they were very kind to send me an invite. I asked them if I could bring the car. They've been very accommodating since then. We've had about five or six now that come on a regular basis, obviously today being not one of those days because of the weather, but it, it's great. Where's your passion coming from? Um, so growing up, my dad had German cars. He had a lot of Italian cars. Uh, I've been a Mustang guy all of my life growing up through high school. So we built a few of them, a couple of 67, 68, 69 Mustangs. And then because of my son, he started getting older, started getting into the car scene. So my passion kind of turned into his passion and uh, he wanted to get into the sports compact scene. So currently we're building him a 98 Mitsubishi Eclipse GS. And then I decided to buy this because why not? Those are all of the original badges that came with the car. The only thing that I don't have on the car currently were the Japanese plates. What do you think of today's supercars? I think they've come a long way. Uh, I think there's a lot of things that they've done to definitely create a, a bigger passion for this supercar nowadays. Uh, but I also believe that with that comes a lot of high-end money. So your average car enthusiast might be able to come out here and take a look at it, but owning has certainly become a lot harder, a lot more difficult. Uh, so the elite are able to own them and everybody wants to ha have an opportunity to have them. I think that this right here is a great middle ground because if you do your research and you do save up and you do what you need to do, you can own a fantastic piece of history like this. How does it feel to drive? Oh, it's fantastic. Puts you in your seat every single time. Eight, so from the factory, it's rated at the Handshake Club of about 280. Uh, she'll do right around 330. I've had this speedometer, which reads 180 kilometers per hour, pegged out on multiple occasions just getting on the freeway. So it's got a lot of power and a lot more to go. Uh, the R33 was initially the one that had the H1T color. Uh, Cal Sonic was the one that developed the original blue, but it was more of a racing blue. And that's what they utilized it to make themselves stand out during the racing. And so I just kind of took the two and we came up with a great color match and they did a wonderful job painting it, so. It's insured as a exotic uh, custom car, 
So I drive it on the weekends. I, I'll take it to shows. I'll take it to San Diego every once in a while, which is where I work. Uh, but generally, she's my weekend driver. I do a lot of commuting during the week, so not a whole lot of time to drive it, but I definitely drive it when I can. Do you plan to change anything or you want to keep it like it is? So the exterior as it stands is going to stay exactly as it is. I don't have any inclination to change anything like that. Uh, under the hood, bigger turbos, maybe a little custom work, some silicone hoses, do a little bit more with it, get a little bit more horsepower. The end goal is 700-ish, would be nice. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. A pleasure. You.